Hey everyone, um, as you can tell, it's a different background today and I'm also not looking my best. Um, basically, I'm not at home. Um, I'm at my parents' place just, just so because that my husband is not in town. He went home, um, hometown, and I just didn't, want, didn't feel like being alone in the house today, which is why I'm at my parents' house. Um, I acknowledge that I'm not looking my best, um, which I kind of have a plan to, you know, at least make myself look better with better background, um, all, all sorts of discountings for my future videos, but not today. It's just because that I have, um, something that I want to share today. Um, and also I acknowledge that I haven't been making videos for the past um i would i would say like three to four days um i'm still committed i haven't given up i'm still committed to making more videos in fact i already feel more comfortable with um everything it's just that i had been really busy and also um i had uh, a plan in mind to kind of like make more structured videos rather than you know just vlogging about my everyday because i feel like i've get um, um i've gotten comfortable um uh at the, at the place of feeling like you know more comfortable with how it is now so i just want to make more structured videos and most importantly i don't want to waste anybody's time um but today is going to be a vlog because um kind of like something happened and i just have a lot of thoughts running through me and um I don't feel like I've gotten to a place of understanding or like peace or like enlightenment, however you want to call it. So I would say like this is more for um, myself, processing my thoughts and my emotions, but also at the same time, hoping to inspire or at least make somebody think about this topic. So basically, I feel like what I've been going through for quite some time now is kind of like the dark night of the soul. If anybody heard of this and if not i feel like it's really worth um just googling just you know researching whatever it is i feel like it's um somewhat of a very important phase especially through anybody's healing journey or through um for anybody basically um in experiencing life i would say because i don't feel like we have given more if given enough credit or given, given enough acknowledgement to this phase how awful how painful it is but at the same time how important it is to to lead you do, down the road of um enlightenment i would say so um in my astrology chart i know that myself that i'm going i will be going through like many or several um ego death or like dark night of the soul uh for um i have or rather i've been going through it um I would say a month plus um, according to my astrology chart and probably a few months more and I know that it's going to last until October this year. So I kind of have a um, mental preparation for myself to um, that, you know, I'm, I know that things are just going to keep happening. Um, bad things, if you want to call it that way, that, you know, that allows me to learn my lesson to allow me to kind of like um ponder and hopefully awaken from this enlighten from whatever lesson it is so basically uh as if let's say you do not know this already um i would say it started off this year or end of last year i've been accused by a friend's wife that uh, that I'm having an affair with this friend and in all honesty, no, that never happened. Um, and I feel like, I think this is a lesson of kind of like a blame, that I've been blamed for something, I've been deflected something of the responsibility, I've been projected as a bad person. So I think um, that happened probably end of December. Then recently... Um, something happened again and again which i've been blamed by a friend i would i don't think the person ever even consider me friend at this point for for something that i feel like i have a part to play 
and um, I went through a phase of self-blaming, having a lot of guilt for what happened, um, and even consider myself as, you know, a failure, um, and I shouldn't be doing whatever I'm doing. Basically, all the lights kind of just dwindle, and I feel like, you know, I went to this space of like guilt, shame, self-blame, and feel like I'm never gonna be worthy of anything. I never ever gonna like, um, gonna do good f- for anybody anymore. I went into that very dark space for a very long time. And then, um, after walking out of it and feeling more empowered and understanding the lesson, um, of course, there are like many complicated it's more complex than it is. Of course, I've learned a lot, a lot, a lot from from the this phase of the darkness of the soul. I've walked out of it. I feel like a brand new person. And recently, um, the person, the friend, or not friend, texted me again, um, blaming me for whatever that had happened. So it kind of like drives. So that was kind of like the background, I would say. Um then which makes me drive into this space of like, you know, reflection and thinking, so to say. And I feel like on a bigger picture basis in terms of like how the society works, um, I feel like there is many facets, many layers to, to this in terms of like being blamed for something. So of course, um, the first the first incident that I pointed out was there was nothing to blame for me. Um, it, uh, there was nothing to... Technically, I did not do anything wrong. So I feel of no fault. Um, of course, there is no blame. I would say it's pretty clear cut. Um, so even when that happens, uh, I actually still went into this space of like, what did I do wrong? Like, was I being too close? Was I not meant to have any male friends? Things like that. Um, I did went into this space of like self-blame. But it was easier and quicker for me to walk out of it. Because technically, I still feel like I've done nothing wrong. Even when um, I'm blamed. Um, in actuality, like somebody blamed me for it. It was e- easier for me to recognize that it was a deflection. It was a projection. Um, all this while, um, understanding that, um, you know, the other person has their own insecurities, the other person has their own narrative, their own story, so to say. So, while I was, of course, angry, um, because ultimately, the underlying emotion of anger is still powerlessness, right? So, in some form of way, I do feel powerless to the situation. I had no control over how it panned out, so to say. So anger did occur, did arise, like she shouldn't, she, she shouldn't this and that. But at the same time, um, I understand that uh, the, the other person probably have their own narrative, their own story, their own insecurity, their own emotions that arise that was not so easy to see through, to detach from. I understand that. Um, Then it went on, I went on to kind of like the second incident that happened to me is that what if you actually have a part to play? So of course, we can go into so many facets of it. Like you do have a part to play. I do have a part to play, but it was out of good intention. At the same time, also recognizing um, the fact that we are only human. We can only do so much that's within our own capacity, that's within our own, um, you know, knowledge, wisdom, however you want to call it. There is only so much you can do. But the intention was good. So what does it mean? Does it mean that I should continue to blame myself or the society or everybody else have the right to blame me, to drive me into that corner of like, you know, feeling guilt, feeling blame, feeling shame um, for the rest of my life. But it was out of good intention. So do you mean that um, 
we have to sentence a person um like to guilt and shame forever and um you know driving them to having the narrative that they are never ever gonna be good for anything else in their life in their this lifetime because they have a part to play in something um, a mistake perhaps even though it is out of good intention because when you look at the news and everything like even as easy as what if a doctor make a mistake um their license will be stripped off um they'll be kind of like sentenced to never being a doctor again all while knowing that we are actually only just human does it mean that um knowing if this this may happen does it mean that we should always be wary of failure we should always be wary of mistake does it mean that we should never take that leap of faith just because we don't feel we shouldn't feel good enough we should fear failure because it's not just that I may sentence myself to that point. The world, the society, everybody around me, including government, may sentence me myself to that point. Then um, we moved on to another situation, another kind of situation. Let's just go a little bit ahead. What if somebody, um, I think most of the time when we want to sentence somebody um, like, playing the blame game so to say to sentence somebody into the space of you are never gonna be good enough you should stop doing whatever you are doing um like forever and ever in this lifetime is that um what if you made a mistake be it whether it's a mistake or not because you had your intentions you never had a good intention in in doing something i mean if you look at it if you look at it in at a certain point uh in a in a certain way is that if you were to understand someone who did something um maybe causing trouble or like um making mistakes like you know causing harm to somebody else because you have ill intention have we ever thought thought to dive in deep into the psyche of that person the narrative the story what caused them to be in this space to um to understand them why would they do such a thing and then we condemn sociopath we condemn psychopath without really understanding um their motive their intention and what drives them to being who they are right now i mean um i mean look at how the society works like look at how 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 shows is like when something bad happens we will kind of like just point fingers we'll just um score them we'll just like condemn them into that space into that guilt and shame and want them to feel that for the rest of their life like they're up to no good but is that really the only way that we can do things because like what I say, there are oh, there are so many facets, there are so many layers to a person's psyche, to a person's intention. And if we always want to go into the space of like, if you were to make a mistake, if you were to, you know, um, cause any harm or like um, disappoint me in, in, in any way or form, you should be condemned forever. So what are what kind of what kind of message are we actually sending? Because if we keep doing this, we are actually saying that if you see in any way or form that you might fail, you might make a mistake, I would rather you not do it because there is a chance of being condemned. There is a chance of being um you know, driving into this space of feeling like powerless and useless forever so to say um yeah i of course i feel like um in my head space i kind of like see in that way and i feel like um this is kind of like the thing that hasn't really been brought up in it in mainstream society or in society or even in the spiritual realm like wellness realm like i don't really hear people talk about this very often 
Um, and I feel like it drives people to hide their mistake. It drives people to not wanting to acknowledge their mistake, not wanting to be humbled by life, to not wanting to, to, to go into the space of like, hey, actually, I don't know better. Because if, let's say, the life lesson is the teacher, you are going to be the student, you will be humbled somehow. But if let's say you always want to be in a pedestal, on a pedestal, wanting to be, wanting to feel more superior, wanting to be better, and not wanting to, to be humbled by life, how else are you ever going to learn? Yeah. How else are you gonna ever going to learn? Um, of course, I... Uh, it's not going to be so easy to even make this, you know, send this message across because we always focus on the victim. So to say, you did this to me, um, I'm being harmed, um, you forever changed my life for the worse. There are like so many, so many, so many um, like facets to it again. So I understand that is never going to be easy for the person who has caused harm to, to, to see this point. It's never going to be easy. But when people who are not the victim and they keep enforcing the idea of that you did wrong, you did wrong, um, what actually are you going to do? Like, you, what actually do you want? Do you want the person to feel guilty for the rest of their life? To feel like they are never going to turn over a new leaf? To feel like they are, they are always going to be condemned by the society forever. What hopes and dreams are we going to harbor then? And are we just going to like worship or put people on a pedestal that has never, never made mistake? So these people, what are the chances that they are going to hide their mistake or they are never going to acknowledge their mistake? which means that they will never be doing shadow work. Think about it. Think about it. What kind of society are we building? So I feel like I have provided a lot of um, my thoughts on different angles, on different types of people, be it the, the person who caused harm or the person who was being harmed. And... Um, yeah, I feel like I'm going to make more sense once I kind of like, you know, reflect more, understand this more, because I feel like this is such an important topic and I really want to, really want to be, um, go through so the dark night of the soul to kind of like really reflect and really understand this because I feel like it's time to change the narrative of this. And to anybody who's watching, no matter, um, I don't know, I don't know, I have a life life in my human design, I don't feel like this is a very pleasant topic. Um, you might be reflecting on what kind of harm you have caused anyone or what kind of harm you have been caused by someone and it might be triggering, it might be enlightening, I, I don't know. But um, I feel like at least give you some thoughts and see where you come to if you have any enlightenment um, any thoughts on this I would really want you to either leave a comment or, or just text me because right now I only share with like close close people about this so yeah thank you for watching this long ass video